You can practice real questions to pass the Salesforce Service Cloud Consultant exam. 1. Universal Containers Support Management Team has noticed an increase in wait times over the last several months when customers call in for support. Which two recommendations should a consultant suggest to help decrease customer wait times? Choose two answers. A set up analytical snapshots to capture key case information and create historical trending reports. B. Set up a Salesforce customer community that will allow customers to create cases online. C. Create reports to analyze call data in order to understand peak times and ensure adequate staffing. D. Create case escalation rules to route high-priority cases directly to supervisors for resolution. Answer. B. C. 2. As part of a new Salesforce knowledge implementation, Universal Containers would like to migrate articles from their current database. Which factor should a consultant consider as part of the migration strategy? A. Convert any articles containing HTML into plain text before importing because HTML is not supported in any article field types. B. Verify that each article type has field-level security on all fields set to read only prior to import, in order to prevent any loss of data. C. Ensure that each existing article type has a corresponding Salesforce knowledge article type that matches its structure and content. D. Prepare a single .csv file that can be used to migrate all articles types at once and include with a properties file in a .zip for import. Answer. C. 3. A consultant has been hired to integrate a client's phone system with the Salesforce Service Console. What are two key considerations for this integration? Choose two answers. ACTI adapter configuration. B lightning console enablement. C call center definition file creation. D service console case creation configuration. Answer. A. C. 4. Universal Containers is launching a full line of new products and service cloud should support the following requirements. Agents need to collaborate with other teams. The product development team needs to be alerted on high-priority cases for specific products. Which solution will meet these requirements? A. Use Process Builder for notifications and case teams to monitor cases. B. Use Process Builder for notifications and account teams to monitor cases. C. Use Escalation Rules for notifications and account teams to monitor cases. D. Use Escalation Rules for notifications and case teams to monitor cases. Answer. A. 5. Universal Containers wants to implement knowledge to assist agents with the resolution of cases. Which three recommendations should a consultant make to meet this requirement? Choose three answers. A. Enable article customization for open cases. B. Enable agents to create their own personal articles. C. Enable suggested articles on new cases. D. Enable article submission during case close. E. Create an email template to send articles as PDF attachments. Answer. C. D. E. 6. Universal Containers wants to implement a customer service site. The goal of the site is to enable community members to access, 
create, and manage cases online. How should the consultant implement these requirements? A. Change the org-wide default for cases and contacts internal access to private. B. Update the case assignment rule to add the site member to the predefined case team. C. Create a sharing rule to share the contact record with the site member. D. Set up a sharing set to grant access based on the site member's contact record. Answer. D. 7. Universal Containers wants customers to have the ability to log cases with structured data and route based on urgency and product line. How should a consultant accomplish this? A. Standard email to case with assignment rules. B. Lightning email with web routing prioritization. C. Omnichannel with prioritized queues. D. Standard web to case with assignment rules. Answer. A. 8. Universal Containers wants to deploy the service cloud to its contact centers located across North America, Europe, and Asia. The company wants standardized contact center processes and reporting implemented in its centers worldwide. Which approach should a consultant recommend in this scenario? A. Assign a global team of experienced agents and leaders to create a common design template and report structure. B. Assign teams in each major contact center to design a solution unique to its needs and have an analyst build a combined report. C. Recommend utilizing out-of-the-box functionality to reduce cost and ensure one worldwide process and reporting. D. Recommend that the VP of Worldwide Support design a global template to provide a clear vision and standardization. Answer. A. 9. Agents at Universal Containers are required to update the case status to waiting for customer after they send an email to the case contact. Support managers are noticing that many agents are forgetting to perform this step. What should a consultant recommend to address this problem? A. Configure process builder. B. Activate a validation rule. C. Define case escalation rules. D. Create a case macro. Answer. D. 10. A client's support call center has seen an increase in call volume on a new product line. The agents are having problems resolving issues and have been escalating to Tier 2 for support. Which action should be taken to reduce the call volumes and escalations? A. Create knowledge articles and publish internally and publicly. B. Configure IVR routing to bypass Tier 1 for the product line. C. Configure Omnichannel to assign cases directly to Tier 2. D. Create a dashboard to track and manage call volumes by type. Answer. A.